So it looks like Little Kim is tired of people glamorizing her affair with the notorious B.I.G. and she is finally revealing some of the craziest details about the affair. When we were together, it always turned into a lover's quarrel or a lover's nest. It turns out that the relationship was even more toxic than we knew because it was just chaotic and plain evil most of the time. Kim's revelations have sent the internet into a spin and y'all won't believe the crazy things that Biggie did to her. Um, did he really threaten to unalive her? So when people talk about Lil' Kim and the notorious B.I.G., they mostly talk about their time in Junior Mafia and how they used to drop hit after hit. I mean, sure, a few people talk about the fact that they also had an intimate relationship together, but even then, the relationship is heavily glamorized. Well, according to Kim, there was so much going on in the relationship that y'all won't believe how toxic it was. But before we get into Kim's crazy revelations, we need to talk about the relationship itself because baby, listen, it was a hot mess from the very start. So Lil' Kim and Biggie met in 1993 on the streets of New York at a rap battle. Kim did a little freestyle and Biggie was so impressed that he immediately knew that he wanted to work with her. We don't know if he wanted to get intimate with her at the time but what we do know is that he was kind of attracted to her but anyways they started working together and biggie formed the group junior mafia and like i said before they found a lot of success but somewhere down the line biggie and kim started an affair together that lasted for years even after he married his wife faith evans who was also a singer kim even attended their wedding even though she was already sleeping with biggie at the time and many people have always found this kind of dis respectful towards Faith, who had no idea what was going on. But the wild part about all this is that the people around them definitely knew that Biggie and Kim were sneaking around behind Faith's back. But they were all so loyal to Biggie because he was the star, so nobody ever said anything to Faith. But as for Kim, well, she pretended that they were just work friends and nothing else. In an old interview, she spoke about the relationship, saying, She became my friend, my lover, my everything. I was his biggest fan. He knew I would be the biggest female rapper. I think I inspired him to want to do different things and be different. We were a match made in heaven. Yeah, when she said she inspired him to do different things, she wasn't just talking about music alone. And as for Faith, no alarm bells were going off for her about Kim because she never thought that she could be betrayed like that. Um, I didn't know anything about them for, uh, this is probably at least a year and a half after, you know, we were together. So I didn't, I didn't know anything about um, them. I didn't even think anything about them, to be quite honest. But one thing Faith did notice was that Biggie treated Kim way differently than how he treated everybody else around him. And no, he wasn't showing favoritism or even treating her better because Faith revealed that he was downright mean to Kim. In Faith's memoir, she talked about how Biggie was often cruel to Kim and he would yell at her and threaten to kill her career by kicking her out of Junior Mafia. She said, I once heard him screaming at her at his mother's house, although I had no idea why. You think you special? He screamed. I'll go get Inga right now while Kim cried, Big kept yelling at her. We don't need you for this group. Inga will be happy to be down. You ain't special, he said. I will replace you with the quickness. Don't forget that. But Inga Biggie was talking about is the rapper Foxy Brown, and that's what makes this extra mean. Foxy Brown and Lil' Kim had some beef between them, so it was cruel that Biggie would use her as a threat against Kim, even though they were sleeping together. But this helped them hide their affair from Faith because she thought that Biggie disliked Kim too much to sleep with her. But Faith wasn't dumb and she soon started adding two and two together and she realized that the math wasn't exactly math then. and i do recall one time with him finding out she was at, at our apartment and he telling me that's not cool but i mean none of that why wouldn't it be cool you know what i mean so anyway you know but still i when you you know when you're not looking for the, sometimes when you ain't looking for stuff you just ain't going to see it. I mean, you know what I mean? I wasn't looking for that to be the case. So I wasn't looking at anything that may have been a clue. Faith also revealed that Kim never really liked her and always had an attitude with her, even though she never understood why. You said that at a white party, you actually walked up to Kim and congratulated her on her success. And she said, who's that? Yeah, I did. Do you think that Kim actually didn't, didn't know who you were? Or, or do you think that she, that was just, you know, shade at that point? Um, I definitely think it was shade. I, I'm sure she knows pretty much what I look like. 
Well, Faith's suspicions were eventually confirmed when she caught Lil' Kim in bed with Biggie on Christmas Eve. In her memoir, she revealed that she immediately started beating on Kim, even though she couldn't see her face because she was under the covers. I grabbed some chick out the bed and started beating her. At some point, the chick's wig came off of my hand. It was a short, cropped wig. I stopped throwing punches for a minute to get a good look at the chick I was beating up. It was Lil' Kim. She was completely butt naked, yelling as I pushed her around the room. Listen, talk about embarrassing but the wild part about this is that Kim was not remorseful for her actions because she tried to get back at Faith. Faith said when I left a few hours later to get the kids I noticed that Kim had taken my key to my land cruiser and scratched up my entire car from the hood to the back bumper but that was not all because Kim's road manager claimed that Kim was so pissed that she once threatened Faith. Kim jumped out the car and pulled a gun on Faith and said I will blow her brains out. Yeah it sounds like Kim was in a toxic affair with Biggie and several people have confirmed this. It also turns out that the relationship was super toxic because he was also seeing other women apart from Kim. The road manager also revealed how Biggie would often put hands on Kim. On one occasion, Kim had gotten jealous because Biggie had invited some of his other side pieces to the studio and she started fighting them. Biggie wasn't pleased with this and according to the manager, when Big came, it got even worse. He was choking Kim in the studio elevator. That was the first time I literally saw them fighting. D-Rock was in the elevator with them trying to break it up. I used to tell her, come on, you have to let this go. Sometimes a man can kill your self-esteem and when he got mad at her, he would do that. Man, this is terrible. But again, it still wasn't enough to make Kim leave. Somewhere along the line, she got pregnant with this baby, but she decided to get rid of it. In a recent interview, she explained why she made that decision. I already knew the kind of relationship that Biggie and I had and I knew that having a child was something that couldn't take place. She knew that it was toxic but she still stayed even though things didn't get better in fact they got worse and Jermaine Dupree even revealed how Biggie pulled a gun on Kim after she confronted him for sleeping with her cousin the little Kim at this particular point in time this was the time when Big I'm thinking he f Kim's sister right hey, well, this, was, this, was, this, is, this is in the music though. okay yeah. in the music okay. this is in the music <laughs> and she found out about it mm. So she was upset when she came to the studio about this. And Big pulled the strap out on her. On Kim? Yes. And to lay the verse? Or just you just let her know he was <laughs> a killer. Oh my god. Oh, okay, all right. So he felt like he could take her life if she confronted him? That is crazy. And Jermaine Dupree wasn't capping either because Kim also confirmed it. In a recent interview, Kim finally opened up about her toxic and violent relationship with Biggie. And y'all, it's a mess. I don't see, it's not wrong with him telling the story. It's a part of history, you know? So you remember and You remember I, that I day? Remember, of course I remember that day. It happened. And I mean, the story is not exactly how he said it, but it's very close to the truth. And, you know, I mean, we did have a very violent relationship. I'm, I'm like... I don't know, I hate that, but like for a while, that, that was like all I attracted was like. When we were together, it always turned into a lover's quarrel or a lover's nest. But y'all wanna know the worst part about all this is that she blamed Biggie's violence on him being a Gemini. Biggie, he's a Gemini. I, all I know is Geminis. <laughs> and I've learned how to really deal with Geminis. And Geminis, they really are two people. And, um, they're good people too, but when they turn into that other person, it's so hard to identify who that other person is. Mm -hmm. This is so crazy, and people have been trying to understand why she still has so much love for him even after all these years. Somebody commented, she was trauma bonded to Biggie and he was no good for her. No one ever really talks about Biggie being abused. Another person said, Biggie treated her like crap, but she shows him so much love, it's crazy. And this other person commented, This is why I hate when people try to say BS like, Oh, Lil' Kim and Biggie were soulmates, and Kim was the love of his life. Please tell me how y'all can look at how Biggie treated Kim and say that was a loving relationship. I'm sure he had love for Kim, but he treated that girl like dirt, and that's not the actions of a man in love at all. Y'all, this is absolutely wild, but I want to know what you guys think about all this. Do you think that Biggie truly loved Kim? And do you think that she's still in love with him? Let me know what your thoughts are and then you should absolutely check out this next video because the drama is next level.